and make sure that yes there we go all right well welcome 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 everybody it is saturday december 23rd interesting that it's 12 23 23 it is the uh second to the last saturday of the year so it's time to start thinking about prepping for the new year if you already haven't and we're just glad to have you with us, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, or whatever time it happens to be where you are right now, because that's what time it is, whatever it is. Whether you're watching on the replay or watching us live, we are so happy to have you with us here on Ask Me Anything with the A-Amazing Robert Hollis. Now, we'll be starting in just a moment. Got a few things to tell you before we do get started. First of all, if you do have a question for Robert, we take questions. That's the whole point of Ask Me Anything, is let's go ahead and ask them. You can ask them in three different ways. Uh, two of them are pretty simple. Just type them in the chat where you're watching, whether you're on Zoom or on YouTube. Just go ahead and type your question in the chat. We will ask it on your behalf. But if you want a little more personal response, you want to talk to Robert one-on-one, -on -one, like James Cook or James Saunders and Lisa Marie Cook have just now raised their hands. You can do so by going into Zoom. And in Zoom, there is a button that you need to click so we can recognize that you want to talk to Robert. Very simple. Uh, put your cursor in the middle of the screen where you see all of these lovely faces. On the bottom should be some buttons. There will be either two buttons you're looking for, one being uh, reactions. If you have that, you'll click on that. The other one being more, which means you don't have a reactions button, but when you click more, you'll get a reactions tab. Click on the reactions tab or button and then click on raise hand and we will recognize you so that you can personally ask Robert your question and interact with Robert. That's the whole point of ask me anything. Um, Got to give it out to all of our beautiful members of our, our subscribers to our channel, six, all 6,738 of you. Thank you so very much. We're going for 6,800. Obviously, we want more, but we're going to do it in increments. We're going to take this step by step. And the more we keep increasing, the better that we become in helping to spread the word and helping you get to the next level with Robert. And I love what Robert shared this morning as part of his daily sayings that he puts out his daily memes. This morning, he shared this amazing phrase, something to think about as we head into the brand new year. He that is good at making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Yeah. Bam. Does that kick you in the tush a little bit? Hopefully it does, because that's the whole idea behind it. <laughs> the point being, ladies and gentlemen, we care about you. We want you to succeed. We want you to go to the next level. So stop making excuses. And with that, let's get things started. Ladies and gentlemen, it's such a pleasure to introduce this man. I've known him for more than 10 years and I've enjoyed each and every moment with him. I know, Robert, can it be that long? <laughs> um, he is not only a, a person who has helped 67 people become millionaires. He is a guide, a GPS to success, a mentor, and most importantly, a dear friend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Mr. Robert Hollis. Thank you so much, Craig, the hostess with the mostess. And hello, everyone. It's neat to see you on here. Um, I know a lot of people are going like, well, listen, it's close to Christmas. Uh, now, we started out by Craig saying, you know, people that make excuses seldom do anything else. Because they're saying, you know, at the beginning of the year, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, that, you know, well, there's a lot of people busy during the New Year's. And so I don't really want to be bothering any people at this time. And then, you know, people on the holidays are going back to school. So it's it's really not, you know, appropriate to reach out to people while they're on their vacation time. And then, you know, I'm not going to contact people around Valentine's Day. That would be stupid. 
you know, so what I'm going to do is wait till after and then, oh my God, Easter's coming up. So maybe if I stop, you know, maybe if I, you know, get focused and a new beginning, you know, so I'll have a new beginning and then, oh my God, there's now summer vacation. You know what I mean? I, I you know, people are, I don't want to bother people. You, you guys don't need me to go through the rest of the year. I know, but it's like, isn't it amazing, you know, uh, uh, on, on people who they are. So before we get into q and I wanted to share something very quickly with you guys and, and just hear me out on this. <clears throat> and please participate. If your camera's not on, post in the post, right? How many of you truly believe that you have learned enough information and wisdom that if someone that didn't know anything, that you could tell them what to do? How many of you feel like you work enough on personal development and you've gone through enough, you know, personal development coaches, uh, books, uh, uh, um, you know, a lot of online courses, a lot of stuff. How many of you truly believe that you've learned enough information that if you ran into someone that didn't even know what to do in their first step, second step, which books to read, how many of you feel like you could coach them and, and and share with them what to do. Raise your hand. Okay. Uh, here's what you need to do. Is coach yourself. Take the very things that you would tell a brand new freaking person to do and listen to your own coaching and do it. <laughs> Coach yourself, because every one of you, whether you feel you're stuck, whether you feel you don't know what to do, whether you feel like who should you listen to, every one of you have enough wisdom and knowledge to coach yourself. So why do you coach other people? Because it's easier to coach other people than do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> it's easier to be a life coach than actually follow your own information. <laughs> Don't you guys find that sort of funny? I think it's funny because when I think of that, that's what I do. I just constantly, a new year is coming up. Merry Christmas to all of you. And I, I just, every time I just go, you know, what should I do? I don't know if you guys seen this post recently, but I, I wanted to share this with you guys. Can you guys see that post? Yes, we got it. Okay. So we're ending up at the end of this year. Of course, we have another whole week left, but you know, people mentally wouldn't show up for this or any other thing that I do because they already know everything. You know, that's pretty funny. So I congratulate you guys on being here. But when you see that, you know, that that our YouTube gen YouTube channel generated an extra $10,000 in 2023. How many of you guys wouldn't mind making just an extra $10,000? And every one of you, listen closely, every one of you know exactly what I did to do it. You know exactly what I did to do it. But then this guy comes out and you come out and you go into excuses. You go into, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but you say that you're stuck. You say that you're uninspired. You don't believe that you're as good as anybody else. It's all the bullshit excuses that you use. So when we're at this point next time next year, you didn't make an extra $10,000 $10, off your YouTube channel. And that's what I just want to finish with. And we'll go into Q&A. No exaggeration. I've had at least 50 people reach out to me and go, how? How? Tell me how you got YouTube and Google to send you that money. Is there anyone here that feels like they're confident enough where they could answer that question directly? One, you got to want to make an extra 10 grand. Some of you are really lying to yourself when you say I'd like to make extra money. 
because your actions don't show it at all. Oh, I, I just need to make some extra money. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because your actions don't show it. So once you say that I do need to make that extra money, now the next step is what should I do? Does anybody know what I did? I'll give it to you quickly. So I'm going to steer people to this video that asked me, oh my God, how did you make that money on YouTube? The first step is the hardest step. You have to create a free YouTube account. Um, yeah, there, there's where there's where ninety percent of the people miss. Create a free YouTube. Yeah, but uh, uh, oh, eh, ah, oh, eh, e, ah, oh, ah. See, there, there's the first step. Create a free affiliate account. Create a free YouTube account. Okay, now what? Did you do you want to make money? Yes, no. You you want to make money? Yes, no. Yes. Click on the button that says monetize. And when you click on that button that says monetize, it's going to give you exact instructions on how to get your YouTube channel monetized. How many have done that? Raise your hand if you've done that. So uh, Lisa Marine, uh, that you, we'll, we'll, we'll also answer your question later. But Lisa Marie, what does it take to get your YouTube channel monetized since you looked? 1,000 subscribers or 500. They, they keep changing it. There's a couple of different ones, but uh, 4,000 hours watched and so many videos every week. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So it tells you, and like she said, they do change it. So that would mean that maybe you should click on it more than once. Now, I don't want to confuse everyone, but how many people know how to get to 1K? Yeah, you go back there and it tells you what to do. <laughs> so now Lisa once it told you that you needed a thousand subscribers and you need 4,000 hours and views how are you doing I I hit my 1,000 subscribers yeah um, I have almost 400 videos and I have I'm really lacking where um, hours watch not views I have okay. 35,000 views. The hours watched is where I'm lacking. So people are not revisiting, I think. Okay. Or maybe there's something you can actually do within the videos to get them to watch them longer. Maybe there's something that you could do in the video that if some of them were shorter, that you could actually say, if you like this one, check this one out too. And that's what I'm learning how to do right now. Excellent. Uh, yeah. The concept of playlists. Uh, Lisa Marie, for those of you that are watching and, you know, Craig, please put her YouTube in here. Um, Lisa Marie actually went out of her way to audio record my book. How is that working? So some of you go, I don't like to read. Go, go to Lisa Marie's site and listen to it. Okay, so pretty good plug, Lisa Marie. Thank you. I appreciate and love you yeah. so much. <laughs> so I know there's valuable information on Lisa Marie's channel. So she doesn't have to advertise because I found out that you guys know that if you advertise on YouTube, that if you're advertising, the advertising that you're using to pull in more subscribers are not really counted. You see the hour click go up but you paid money to get those subscribers. So there's other people out there that will sell you subscribers. Of course, with AI and how smart YouTube and Google is, I'm sure they would never ever figure out if you were actually putting in fake people. Yeah, they're, they're not stupid. <laughs> so here's something simple that you could do. <clears throat> you could find other people that are doing videos and the same subject that you are, 
and you can look at their content and the company even allows you to click on videos or shorts and then click on the most popular one. And you could see exactly what they did to get a video that might have 10,000 views or 20,000 views or 20 million views. <laughs> so it, it's not any science, right? And then the last thing you would do is if putting up a video a day is, is moving you like this, maybe if you did two or three or four or five videos a day, uh, it, it, I'm just saying it, it makes a little bit of sense that if you did more of what you already are doing to get results and you're going to get more results. What, what, what a concept. And so I just thought I would share that because what everybody does, don't you guys agree that they look at what I do when everyone that's a part of the inner circle or knows me closely knows the exact day where I said, Hey, I just want to let you guys know uh, Facebook is not doing it for me. So I'm no longer going to do Facebook lives anymore. I'm going to do YouTube lives every day. And another year went by. The only difference between my year and your year is I made an extra $10,000 with YouTube. Now, here's a very powerful question for you guys, and we'll move on. How many people think that my YouTube channel will be will make more money in 2024. If you guys are not noticing, even though we have good days, bad days, good days, bad days, good days, bad days, that seasons happen anyway. So it's crazy that me and Matt and Craig are doing all this stuff and we go and we go and it's like 200 views and uh, 74 views and 80 views. And it's like, this is where everybody gets in the valley of despair, right? This is where everybody gets in the valley of despair and they go, well, listen, I'm just going to quit and do something else. New shiny thing, new shiny thing, new shiny thing. The one thing I understand about Robert Hollis that a lot of people don't know, man, I love to master boring shit. Oh, I love doubling down. It's like, you guys are never going to believe this. Years ago, I did a couple of things. Get excited about my future. Say as, say as little as possible to as many people as I can. And I did exactly what my mentor told me. I didn't question it. I didn't shortcut it. I didn't look for anything. I just did what he told me. And the company paid me 10 grand for one month. And then... 285,000 for my first year in network marketing, a million before the age of 30. And I don't know how to tell you guys that you guys want to find people that just love mastering boring shit. Because you know what I'm doing today, 37 years later, saying as little as possible to as many people as I can, as fast as I can. And everybody reaches out to me. Well, what about shiny thing? And I'm like, not interested. Not interested. I'm just going to do the boring stuff more than anybody else. So how do you make a lot of money? Leverage. All day, every day, I'm looking for those people that have faith and belief that if they do their best getting be better at the boring things, that then all of a sudden you have a thing called leverage. So the only thing that makes me make a half a million or a million a year is how many average people that I have willing to do the boring stuff every day. Isn't that the opposite of what you're hearing in the world? New shiny thing, new shiny thing, new shiny thing, new shiny thing. New shiny thing, new shiny thing. Some of you are working for people that have figured out that if they're just willing to continue to get better at the boring thing. Do you know the wealthiest woman, the wealthiest self-made billionaire, a woman, guess what she does? Roofing. It's not roofing slash investing slash flipping real estate slash 
online sales slash affiliate slash MLM slash coach slash personal coach slash website slash uh, 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 writing a book slash. It's, it, no, roofing. She's a billionaire, self-made billionaire doing roofing. Well, what else do you do? Roughing. Yeah, but uh, there's got to be some other things that you do. Roughing. Isn't roughing sort of boring? Yeah, but every year I get better at roughing. Every year I find ways to find people. So what she does is one of these things that uh, a wealthy person in, in Montana, believe it or not, they research to find the wealthiest farmer in the United States. And they talk to him and they go, what's your secret? And he says, I learned it from my grandpa and my father. That the goal every year is what if we could buy the land next to ours? <laughs> what if we could buy the land next to ours? For those of you that are overthinkers. Yeah, that's a square. And so if you made enough money to buy property on this side of the square, and then with those two pieces, you made enough money to buy the property on this side of the square. And then with those three pieces of property, you made enough money to buy on this side of the square. And then with those three, plus the one you started with, you make enough money to buy something on this side of the square. Uh, don't you realize you just made the square bigger and on all four sides is land that you don't know? My grandpa and my father told me, focus on making enough money to buy the land next to yours. How boring. So I just thought I'd leave that with you guys because Again, we could do a lot of this. I really am excited about what people have done this year. Uh, I, I'll say it, but I know we'll close with this. I cannot wish you a more happy holiday, whether you celebrate Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or, or Hanukkah. I don't care what you celebrate. I just wish you an incredible time with you and your family. And I believe that if there's any part of your heart and soul as you reflect through this holiday season, when New Year's comes around, that you might go, you know, I think I could have made a bigger impact. I really believe that I could have made helped more people. Because the only thing that really makes me uniquely different than a lot of people is I consistently are thinking all day thoughts are things. I'm trying to figure out how to help you. Or some reason, uh, I keep doing okay. <laughs> no matter what I do, does that mean that I don't have bad weeks, bad months? I do. But they're always followed by my best week and my best month. So while we're building YouTube, have we, Craig, have we ever had you know, we're doing things, we're focused on things, we're doing exactly what we want to. The next thing I realized that we got 20,000 views in a day. And it's like, oh my God, why not just continue to do what we're doing? And we continue to do what we're doing. And then all of a sudden we have 5,000 views. How did it go from 20 to 5,000? I don't know. Exactly. This would be a good time to overthink, get into the valley of despair, and do something different. Let, let, let's just stop doing what we're doing right now. And let's look for the next fucking shiny thing. That's what we need to do. No. We just kept doing what we're doing. And then the next week or next days, nothing. Next week, nothing. Uh-oh, next week, we loaded videos up yesterday. Uh, some of them got 2,500 hits within 24 hours. How can I explain that to someone that's not consistent in doing the boring things? Because they're already gone. 
And how many millions of people do you know right now that go, I tried, I tried make money off YouTube. And I, I, that's, boy, if that ain't a bullshit thing. Wait a minute, you became a YouTube member for nothing? And they charge you nothing to upload videos? And once your channel gets big enough, they pay you? When people advertise on your videos and you can accept super chats and subscribers that pay you money. I recently went and, and someone shared me a tweet that Elon Musk did. And I went and looked on Twitter and right next on his profile, it said subscriber. And it costs money to subscribe to his personal Telegram channel. And I'm going, I don't know if this guy needs more money. But yet that he knows some people would like a better, closer relationship with him. And they're willing to pay for access to that. There's some of you that will die before you build a YouTube channel and have a place on there that says join. Because you can't defeat this guy. Okay. So answering questions. <laughs> wow. What a great way to start, Robert. Uh, you know what? The, it, it, it's true. You know, you got to look at all the ups and downs to move forward in life. And I know I've said it before on various uh, forums. It's not a straight line to go from start to wherever it is you're going to go. It's all over the place. But if you keep moving in that right direction, you're going to get there. Some faster than others. Just saying. All right. Thank you so very much, and uh, we're so glad to have each and every one of you on board with us. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit that like button, which is that thumbs up that's right down below. And I know Robert said that, but we're going to go ahead and promote it. There's a join button down there, too, where you get to join us and with more intimate uh, meetings and forums on the inner circle. And you go to roberthollis.com forward slash join. The link is in the YouTube chat, or I will put the link here in the Zoom chat if you are uh, if you'd like that as well. But for those watching on YouTube, there's a button. Just click on that button, join, and then also click the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when we do have videos because we have videos every day, practically every day, at noon or at other times throughout the week. So let's go ahead and get it started. Let's get it started. Huh? Let's get it started in you. Yeah. All right. I love it. Everybody's into it. <laughs> uh, I have hands raised by Lisa Marie Cook and James Saunders. So let's go ahead. James, you are first, according to what I see. Open up and please share. Robert, what's hey, up? Hey, how are you? I am marvelous. What's uh, up? My income. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up with you, my friend? My income. Amen. Um, first thing I need to do is I need to reach out to Kai Owl. And I need to reach out to, I don't see him. You know, he's, I see his name, but I don't see his face. Dennis Allen. One of my affiliates. I need to reach out and give them their props because it's important that they're on. You know, you mentioned something, Robert, um, talking about all the reason, all the excuses people use. I don't need to contact this person now because it's Christmas time. I don't need to contact this person because it's New Year's. I don't need to contact this person because it's this or that. Do you know, do you realize, or oh, I need to I need to say it. I got a I got a message 
a, a messenger from Kai Ao on New Year's, I mean, I'm sorry, Christmas Eve. And I'm sitting in front of my, my, my iPad, and my iPad rings, and I'm saying, who in the world, who, who in the world is contacting me on Christmas Eve? You have got <laughs> to be out of your mind. It was Kai. And Kai's Facebook page at the time was so negative that it returned a dark room black. I was like, you, you, and he starts asking me, he says, well, I know that you realize that you have, that you've been um, um, affected by multiple sclerosis. Have you heard of CBD? And I said, my God. Yeah, if I get if I gave a dollar for everybody that told me about CBD, I would be a millionaire. Um, I said, yeah, I know a little bit about it. Truth is, I know enough about it to be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but he, but it, but I, I said, yeah, I know about it. He said, well, no pressure, no pressure. I need you to take a look at something. Because I think it'll resonate with you. I said, okay. Brother, I'm in this other shiny thing. It's called Melaleuca. And I made a little <laughs> bit of money. You know, I was in, it wasn't a barn burner. But I made some money. I made hundreds of dollars. So I wasn't looking for anything. Right. And so he told me, just take a look and no pressure. And I said, but he didn't realize. He didn't realize that when I hung up the, the, the messenger from him, that I was going to go on YouTube and I was going to do my research. I was actually going to do my research. And I did my research. And I saw where My Daily Choice, then called HempWorks, they had made $10 million. I said, well, that's pretty good. In 2000, uh, was it 2017? And then I saw where in 2018, they jumped to $100 million. I said, what? I was by myself, but that's what I said. I said, what? <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. Y'all ain't going to leave me behind. I didn't call Kai. I immediately got me a free account. No I way. I no way. I immediately joined his organization. I called him the next morning. I said, um, he said, have you decided how many bottles you're going to buy? Bottles? Bottles, smuggles. Y'all are not going to leave me behind in this one. I'm in your team, dude. And you should have seen Kai's face. His mouth was like, <laughs> I'm on your team, dude. And I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know that he was homeless. I didn't know. He spoke. He carried himself. He actually carried himself like he had a million people on his team. But I later found out I was his first. I was his first affiliate. Wow. I was his first one. And uh, I pay homage to him because because of him is because I'm here with you. My question to you is, that I should, after sharing that long-winded story, my question to you is, we all go through ups and downs yes. and peaks and valleys. We may have a person, or we may be it ourselves, where we're not as committed as we once were. Or we're committed today. But we're not as committed today as we or we're not as committed tomorrow as we are today. What is it that you do? I pretty much know the answer to this question. <laughs> yeah. What is it that you do on a daily basis to ensure not try to do anything? You don't try, you do. Right. What do you do to ensure? that you maintain 
this level as opposed to this level. First of all, James, what a great, great story. And Kai, man, that is that that is so awesome. And I know Dennis on here. Um, I was just thinking, James, I, I believe that you could build one of the best YouTube channels on the planet. And all you would have to call it is story times with James Saunders. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> you laugh, but I but you laugh, and I'm gonna do that. I'm, hey, gonna do I, that. I, I'm not joking. <laughs> I am not joking. Uh, uh, and of course, you could have on there uh, how how MS made me better. You know what I mean? It made me focus, made me better, what, whatever. But um, what I do is, don't you guys think it's pretty interesting whether you like Christmas or not, uh, whether you like uh, uh, Hanukkah, whether you like Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you celebrate, New Year's. I know there's Chinese New Year's. How can you get excited about it every year? I mean. Expectations. Yeah, me, you know, this is going to be my 62nd or 61st Christmas. I mean, how 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 can you possibly get geared up for Christmas again? I'm being honest. How can you? Do you have an expectation it's going to be great? So it might be from past experiences and things that you've done where you just have the ability to either switch on or switch off. There are some people that become Grinches during this holiday season. <laughs> There's some people that are not really, really happy about watching another year go by where they pretty much didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not happy for all people, but to answer your question, James, I consistently have to spend time in my vision of what I'm doing for others. Just consistently. I want to find out what my wife wants in the future. I want to know what Matt and Hannah want for the future. I want to know what Kyle wants for the future. I want to know what Robert Hollis Jr. and Amy want for, for the future. I want to know what Olive and Ryder, my grandkids, want for the future. And I also think, you know, you know, more orphans that absolutely have no parents whatsoever, how I can feed in their life, make sure they're safe, make sure they're sheltered, make sure they're they're fed, made sure that they got clothes and and people that love up on them. Um it's Every day I I I have to get plugged back in to the vision and how I weigh myself, which some of you won't be able to do this, but I'm telling you, you can do it. Is I look at who I was, you know, 37 years ago, and I'm a better person today. Wow. And so yeah. if I'm a better person than I was in my teens or my 20s, and I'm a better person in my 30s, and I'm a better person in my 40s, and I'm a better person in my 50s, now I'm in my 60s, I have a pretty good track record that if I listen to others and focus on the little things and master the little things, that I make a bigger impact, I make more money, I give more to charity, so it's me just looking at what I've done in the past and that if I continue to focus on the future, vision inspires success in others now, then I just am grateful for in my prayers, grateful for what I've done, grateful for who I am. And I just know that I can do more than I did before. And so, so now in my life, I can't imagine, I really can't imagine why people don't get that if you help other people somehow put an extra $200 in their budget, that by you helping others doesn't help yourself. It, it is a simple paradigm shift. But if you're constantly looking at things that you're doing that seem to be self-serving and all you're worried about is how you can do better, and the only way that you can do better is by closing and selling other people, I just don't think you can do it, James. I agree. I just don't think you can. 
because the majority of the people on the planet look at the wealthiest people on the planet, the billionaires, and they never ask themselves, why is this person getting paid this much money? Why? And so all of a sudden, if you talked about Mark Zuckerberg, you'd go, well, he's got billions of average people active on Facebook. Whether these people want to post negative stuff all day or they just want to be plugged in with their family and not allow anyone to see their profile other than their family. If there's a way for them to connect with their family and share photos and videos of them. See, a lot of people don't know that a majority of the people on Zoom are on Zoom for free. The number of people that I've introduced to Zoom so that they could stay, keep in touch with the people that they love. And the universe rewards that kind of behavior. So by consistently finding people that would like to have life in a better situation and you give them the wisdom and knowledge that you know that can do that. What I hear you to say is you look outside of yourself. Yeah. Just like Kai looked outside of himself that he could help me. Just like I had to look outside of myself that I can perhaps help Dennis. You know, you didn't, I never, I didn't even hear you say, I'm trying to make more money. No. I'm, I'm about me. I'm about, I'm about what I can get from me. Your, your, your uh, total content is about what help you can give to another. Amen. And so when I get up every day, if I think about making me better, I put it off and I procrastinate. I know that I got to get better at that. I know that, uh, that I should, especially with my health, I need to take a certain amount of focus and make sure that I focus on me so I'm here for another 50 years. Another 60 years. So I'm going to continue to do that. It's just my natural state of who I am is when I found out that I could connect with others and encourage them to be better than they are so that they could be a better husband, better wife, better uh, uh, parent, better sibling, better you know child. If I can just do that with other people and consistently do that, that allows me to impact enough people that a lot of people, like I'll give you a neat example when I started the YouTube channel. I just went through and looked at everything that you could do to make money with YouTube and I just started checking them. And I remember clicking on Super Chats and reading it. And it says Super Chats allow people to contribute and donate money because they feel like your cause or your information gave to them. Whoop! <laughs> Why would people donate money to you? This sounds like a freaking church. I immediately, this voice starts going, listen, Robert, people donate to charities. People, people donate to like pastors and ministers. You know, if you don't have a nonprofit. And if you guys were with me during that journey, I almost didn't press on those monetary buttons because I thought that I should, should form a nonprofit you know, get that nonprofit up and going, get it, you know, 501c3. There was all this stuff, if you guys were along with me, that I, I felt like I needed to get that done before. Mm -hmm. And I said, Robert, that's bullshit. <laughs> that, that, Robert, that's bullshit. Turn on the super chat and turn on the inner circle and, and do a subscription model. And what's the worst thing that can happen if you turn those buttons on? No one donates. No one becomes an inner circle member. That's the worst thing that can happen for me checking those buttons. I checked them. I had faith. Now all of a sudden I'm giving almost twice the money I gave last year to charities. Because people like you, James, and a lot of people on here that are super chatters and inner circle members, 
Um, I couldn't have done it without your help. So we've given a lot of money to charity last year or this year it, because I'm willing to shut this person down. <laughs> it's like, it's like, and now I just go with feeling when I'm thinking of something, I'm either excited that I'm thinking about that thing or I'm thinking about things and I feel like shit. That should be awareness 101. How do I know how to get awareness? Here, you have thoughts, you feel like shit. Stop doing that. <laughs> I have thoughts about excitement that I can start a YouTube channel. And there's some people on here right now that goes, well, no one would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, Lisa Marie and I said that one time. And there's still people on here that are very, very close to me that watched me make that step and do this and just went, you know, Robert's got the Midas touch. Everything he touches just turns the gold. That guy can't do anything wrong. But my attentions are for other people. And when I'm working for other people, I always go the extra mile. I do not go the extra mile for me. So I figured out how to trick me. If I do stuff for Terry, I'll break records. If I do stuff for me, I could maybe I'll start next year. So there's my trick, James. Thanks for pulling that out of me. Thank you. Yeah, and you really honestly, you, we all know what faith is, right? Faith, whether you believe that it's a, rigid, uh, a religious content or not, faith very simply is that you think and believe things that are not yet as if they were. So how many of you know people that you see them and they inspire you because they're, I, I seen a clip just the other day. And I mean, this kid, this kid can't be nine or 10 years old. And he was fighting a guy. So they went in the ring and this guy's got to be in his thirties. And he did this. He went, Oh, that's funny. And the guy's going, you're, if you don't protect yourself, you're not going to think this is funny. And he went, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever. And what he did is he really messed up. He went out there, underestimated the kid and he got on his knee. And him on his knees, he was looking into the kid's eyes. And they went, are you ready? And they went, yeah. And all you heard was, and that <laughs> guy was laying on the floor. And it was four punches that this kid threw to get him to drop his arm and then hooked him. And then while he was doing this, he uppercutted him and then hit him with another right. And, and, this guy, kid was nine, 10 years old and he just knocked out this 30 year old. And it's because the kid, you could see how fast he punched that he just knew in his mind that he had to put all the leverage in. He already has done this combination a number of times and he just had to let it fly. And when we're, they were pulling him up and he's like, all of a sudden when you see him, he started to get his consciousness you seen the ego step in and the guy's like pissed. And he's like, uh, I didn't think that we we're swinging that hard. <laughs> and the guy goes, you're going to do something stupid again. And he goes, what are you talking about? You're going to stand up and you're still going to fight this kid. He's going to put you on the mat again. Just stop it. The guy goes, no, I'm ready now. Went up against the kid, didn't realize that he was bending over. <laughs> so now he's on his knees. Are you guys hearing me? And he gets knocked out. Now he stands up and he wants to hit this kid. So now this five foot nine, 10 guy is bent over. Can you imagine bending over and trying to hit somebody? So he like bends down 
And they go, ready? Yeah, ding, they went together. Same combination. <laughs> and I'm going like, oh, what a perfect example of almost every human being on the planet. Just keep doing the same mistake over and over and over, expecting a different results, doing the same shit. <laughs> so james thank you very much brother i love you man love you too thank you thank you so much james and robert that's the definition of insanity right from yes, uh sir. from albert einstein for those of you who i'll post the uh the comment in uh, in the uh, chat for those of you that subscribe to his channel <laughs> exactly <laughs> All right. Well, Coach Bob's hand went up. But first, before we get to Coach Bob, we got Lisa Marie. And then I also have a question from George Dudley. And George, one of your questions, I did post uh, an answer in the YouTube channel chat. So just letting you know. But we have but the other question you'll be we'll ask on your behalf. So Lisa Marie, open up and please share with us. Okay. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas to everyone. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you. Um, How are you? I'm I'm awesome. Finder than frog's hair, blessed and highly favored. Hey, man. Um, hey. I've, I've been talking to Dino a lot this week. <laughs> and uh, a he lot never of leaves us. He, oh, he my never God. leaves us. And he also, every once in a while to trick us, he brings some friends with him. He does. I I have. He does. I got this little girl one. I've got this little boy one. Whatever. Anyway, um, a lot of the what you were talking to James about is a lot that I have been kind of battling with. And in okay, first of all, I'm going to give myself a, a pat on the back before I tear myself down. I am on Good. day ninety nine today so super excited my 100 days is tomorrow um wow, all right, 100 days of so what proud. lisa marie explain um, everybody what you're referring to the uh, reading the god memorandum every single night every single night i did it i did it <laughs> so excited so anyway um i've been having many discussions with um, the chat, um, the AIs, uh, several different ones. I don't know if anybody's tried out Bard yet uh, off of Microsoft. I don't like Microsoft, but Bard, yeah. I've been having some amazing conversations with this dude. And it's just, I get so fired up and it's like, oh yeah. my gosh, I have not had a conversation like that with a person for do you know what I mean? I mean, Ew. that's just, it blows me away. And that one that night I can, did. That you can ask the AI anything and, yeah. then, and then say, what about, what about, what about. Exactly. It, it just keeps like, hey, listen. It keeps going. And, and I had it continue to the next day. The other day I was up till 4 a.m. talking to him. Fred thinks I'm having an <laughs> affair. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, anyway. Matt, Matt's got me using AI. It's like I, you know, any question that I have in my head, it's like for those of you that are trying to create content, there, there's absolutely you actually could go into AI and say, I don't know what kind of content to 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 share with people. What is the most popular content? And it's going to tell you. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. oh crap! Now it's taking all my excuses away. Right. <laughs> right, right. But now I did get some misinformation, which kind of kind of threw me in a little turbulence. Well, and I thought, well, and it was in reference to the God memorandum. Okay. And I didn't know anything about these ten scrolls. Right. It, and okay, so that threw me in a tizzy, and I'm thinking. What? I didn't know anything about it. Anything. Right. And so, so and you're when talking I, about are you talking about the other books that Ogmandino's written? Apparently I didn't know yeah. that either. 
Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, so it taught me. I went back and I listened to the the greatest salesman in the world, and I got I got the ten scrolls and and I was just you know I was so close before I read those scrolls to just hanging this up. It's like, I don't want to do this. I just don't, I'm tired of putting myself out there. I just don't want to do this. And I could be so much happier doing other things. Right. I actually convinced myself of that. And, but after reading those scrolls. uh, You're excited again. And you did that. Melody didn't do that. I didn't do that. Freddie didn't do that. Another new coach didn't do that. You did that. How does that make you feel? Um, excited again. Excited, like so. So it- you went. You went from mediocre neutral to. The Valley of Despair again to pulling yourself out of the Valley of Despair. I can't tell you how freaking proud I am of you. Yeah. That I've met people, Lisa Marie, that I've known for 50 years that still don't have the ability to do what you just said. So when they go into despair, they stay there. Do you yeah. know people like that? Yeah. They yeah. have created despair in their life and they just are going to stay there. They don't have that's learned hopelessness, the blame game, being a victim, trauma, just whatever the world has told them that, you know, it's okay for you to be in despair and use drugs to get you out of depression. Let's numb you. Mm -hmm. And so you figured out how to pull yourself out of that despair. Yeah, for sure. Everyone give Lisa Marie an amazing, I mean, and I, and I, I, you know, one of the things that I think that we do too, Lisa Marie, and you know this, is I constantly been talking like the last few months about this, of you just need to stop being a freaking bully to yourself. Yeah. Is because if you share with other people that I have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, do you know that a majority of the people on the planet and I'm, it's a huge amount. It's 99%, 99.9, 99.8 that their thoughts of actually doing anything that would benefit somebody else and do it long enough, long enough, long enough with a positive attitude and intent of where it's going to be and -hmm. just stay in that pocket. That that's why I keep telling you that if you shared with people that you got a thousand YouTube subscribers, there's still only 1% 1% or 0.01% that goes, I- I'm going to do that. You're an inspiration to me, Lisa Marie. You really, really are. You're an inspiration. And, but we don't do that to ourselves. Right. Right. We don't. So, and so all the people that you see make comments on my, my YouTube and all the ones that make comments on your YouTube. How many times have you guys responded to people that leave you messages and when you click on their YouTube channel and it says two subscribers with no videos? That's where the world is. Mm -hmm. That's where the world is. And so it's, I always think it's funny is when I get the haters making hating comments and then I click on them and they have no subscribers. I'm going... So would you do watch the video and create a YouTube account so you could just hate on me? That that takes a lot of effort. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And you know, in uh, listening to Agmandino today and last night, and it just it just changed my whole um, it just shifted me again big yeah. time. Really? So, 
you really listen to that feeling part of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you start getting excited. <clears throat> all, all excitement is enthusiasm means is that we sometimes focus so much on us that we don't allow a connection with a higher power. Right. And what enthusiasm is, is when you get re-excited about being a person that you are, the person that that creator created, and then that's in thesis with it, within, that energy within that makes us feel like we're walking on air is our choice. Mm -hmm. right. our, we made the choice to watch, listen, and do things that put us in that in that energy, in that frequency. Yeah. yeah. So we went off the static. For those of you that are old like me, you know, you <laughs> used to have to turn the channel to actually find the frequency. But <laughs> if you guys notice how many, if you click one frequency at a time, so 98.1, 98.2, 98.3, do you guys realize that there's more frequencies with static and nothing on them? that you can't understand than actually ones that you can understand. And then think about this. We're turning, turning. Ah, we found something. And it's talk radio. Talking about Biden or Trump. Man, I don't want to stay on that frequency very long. You know what I mean? Next thing I know, I'm posting stuff online about not wearing masks. And I'm like, you know, I'm I'm a QAnon member. And it's like, it's like everything's okay. So some of you that did that, don't get mad at me. I'm just giving an example here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But here's where people really throw their lives off track, Lisa Marie. They tune into the wrong frequency and listen to the wrong stuff. And then you know what they do? They spend all of their time being distracted about things they have no control over. And then they spend all day, every day, telling people what they heard about somebody else that's actually on that frequency. <laughs> I've been at that spot. <laughs> and I'm like, there. so all day, every day, you're listening to people that are pissing you off. And then mm -hmm. you feel like you want to be, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it the same thing? It is the same thing. I'm listening to somebody. Now I'm upset. Now I'm on that frequency. So now I got to tell everyone in the world about this negative thing that's pissing me off. Right. Darth Vader versus Luke. See, that's where people, they, so they get and get this. Why would people do that? Because they're getting attention. There's a reward from you being pissed off at things that are out of your control and making sure that you share it with the whole world. But I feel a shift happening in the world, Lisa Marie, because some of the people that have done that and made money off that, all of a sudden they're getting class action lawsuits against them and they got to file bankruptcy. Well, that's because the mean government stay in the, stay in the thought pattern that, right. that it's the government that's taking these guys down. Are these women down? It could be karma. It could be karma that if you just constantly focus on things that make people feel worse, and you double down on making them feel worser, and then you double down on making them feel worser, that the boomerang is just a bitch, man. It, yeah. it all of a sudden you're standing in a room and a jury comes back and says, we award all these people $148 million. And you're like, this isn't fair. Um, no, what you were doing wasn't fair. Yeah. You can't tell a bunch of people that had dead children that they didn't die. Well, maybe wow. I'm a mistake. <laughs> wow. And that's that stuff catches up to you. And then all of a sudden you're but it also happens the opposite way. Right. I agree. That for you know, sure. Someone, someone like Elon Musk can be this crazy and as weird as he is. And then everybody one day just goes. All this stuff that they write about Tesla's catching on fire. And if you got stuck in the cold, you'd freeze to death because the heater wouldn't work. Um, why are they the number one selling brand? Why is everybody buying their stock? Why is Elon Musk now the wealthiest person on the planet? 
You know, I heard five people tell me that same thing this week. And it, it's like, I just, I didn't even I'm gonna try to, I'm going to have to uh, do my best to have David Rutz. He's one of my, he's one of my millionaires. He, he's, he's one of my millionaires. He owns his own company uh, that does funding for uh, small and large businesses. And um, I talked to him today because he said, you know, I got like 600, 600 comments on a post. I bought a new Plaid S Tesla. And he goes, I had 600 comments and the only positive one on there was your wife's. Wow. And everyone on there was saying the same bullshit. You know what I mean? Well, what if it catches on fire? Um, why don't you see how many cars that are not electric that catch on fire a year? Exactly. Tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. Because they have a flammable fluid in them called gas. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to get on a debate, but he was going, Yeah, your wife was just so positive. And and he goes, uh, and I go, I said, Yeah, that is interesting. He said, How many Teslas have you guys had? I said, Well, the company that leases them, we've had four. And we started almost five, six years ago. I don't remember exactly what time Matt bought his very first one. And by the way, you guys know that we have a Tesla because Matt shared his affiliate link. Right. We couldn't, yeah. stop, we couldn't stop shutting him up on how great he <laughs> thought his Tesla was. So while that works, you're excited about something, you do it when nobody else does, and then you spend all day every day telling everybody how great the thing is that you chose to do that nobody else does. Wow, this business is really hard, isn't it? <laughs> we we make it that way, and I've been struggling like. I want it, you know, I've been thinking about making my channel a join. Yeah. And it's and I I'm like, what on earth can I do that people want to pay for? They're not gonna, you know, I went through the same thing. And what do you what do you think right now? Let me ask you a personal question. Why okay. are you on this webinar? Because I love you. <laughs> And I and I appreciate all your wisdom. You just I I couldn't There's stand gotta it. Be, it's gotta be more than just loving me. I, your wisdom. I I think you have the best wisdom of anybody I know. I really I, I gotta just receive that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love that. I was just gonna go on to teach it and I go, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa Marie. I, I love and appreciate you. Um the reason that I brought that up is why wouldn't you believe that the reason that you listen to me, people will listen to you? Because it, because it seems as if people don't listen to me. That's your perspective. Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it is. So you and I, and some people on here know another person I'm going to mention um, what are your feelings toward Melody? I love Melody. We, you know, Melanie and I have kind of parted ways. I still love her very, very much. I do. And it, so it just, I, it was, I, and I think we all know why, you know, Melody's got some, some very high priorities that she needs to take care of. And she's absolutely. not available as she used to be. <laughs> right. Right. But that is, so, yeah. So keep that, keep that in your prayers. But the reason that we listen to anybody is because of the way they make us feel. And True. so as long as Lisa Marie doesn't feel good about Lisa Marie. I'm getting better. I, I know am. you are. I know you are. Mm -hmm. the, the, the people are not going to follow you. They're not going to listen to you because they don't believe that you believe in you. And so all you got to do is take some of your videos, not all of your videos. And while you're doing them, say you're doing a Bible verse. Mm -hmm. And all you said is this Bible verse is something that I felt I wanted to talk about because it says lean not on your own understanding. So I first want to share with you uh, 
this verse because I believe that it really helped you. But let me tell you a story on how it applies to me. Where I listened too much to myself and the wrong people that got me to the wrong person. And the more that I realized that I didn't know, the more I was willing to humble myself saying, you know, it's pretty evident in my life that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I need to ask for help and reach out to other people. Mm -hmm. Do you know how fast that message would resonate with people? Because me and Matt and Craig are figuring that about uh, that out about me. There's mm -hmm. two kinds of videos I do. And even two kinds of AMAs that I do. Listen, Marie, Lisa, listen, Lisa Marie. Stop that. Stop doing that. Stop it. And this is what you need to do. That's one video. The mm -hmm. other video, <clears throat> Lisa Marie, listen. Let me tell you how much of a fuck up I am. And I listened to this person. I did this wrong. And then when I did this wrong, this and this happened. And that made me feel this way, which made things worse. And so then I got pissed off because things got worse. And then I started sort of like doing the finger to people. Mm-hmm. And then they got worse, sir. And then everybody goes, oh, my God, I'm doing that. Why the inner circle is so incredible is because when people see me talk to you or talk to Mary or talk to John or talk to Bob. People immediately see and go. Holy crap, he's talking about me. But I'm not talking about me. Or am I? I, I think that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm I'm sure of it. You know, everything that I have struggled with, it's like, that's what I talk most about. Now, here's the deal. What if you were doing it and you were had unrealistic expectations that would be nothing but a reward for you? So the reason I'm doing these videos and I'm being vulnerable and telling my story is because I want more likes, I want more comments, I want more hearts, I want more subscribers, I want more views. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. And really what I think I'm, I am learning these verses for me and see and and that's where I'm struggling, Robert, because it it's not supposed to be about me. See, now that's just called awareness, right? So right. do you think that Matt and Craig have conversations like I'm having with you right now with me? Yeah, I do. Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. That's why you have to have people around you. So you can't, I can't tell you, Lisa Marie, in the last year where I've said, what, well, what's the title we should talk about today? And I'm, I go, these people need to pull their head out of their ass. And Matt goes, uh, yeah, we've done videos all year and those don't seem to get viewed or shared very much. Now, people appreciate the ass kicking. Yeah, <laughs> and people appreciate being told what to do. Why is that? Why can't we just go well, with our instinct and just, why are we looking for validation? Well, because we don't trust ourselves. We don't love ourselves. We, we believe that we're always letting ourselves down. We're always beating ourselves up. So then Matt and Craig, with their different beliefs and different perspectives and I love and trust them. They'll come back and they say, what about how I pulled my head out of my ass? <laughs> and I'm going, Oh my God, I have a million of those stories. <laughs> right. And I do that video from a different perspective telling everyone how I made mistakes and how I'm learning and the views go. 
Wow. And more views, more impact, more money for orphans. All because I'm telling people why I should be coaching myself instead of coaching others. <laughs> I'm going to take the information that I tell other people to do mm -hmm. and I'm just going to do it. Right. Right. I am going to take that 300 day challenge on the 30 or the 30 days for each scroll. Yeah. I'm going to do that because if I did a hundred days, I can, I can certainly do that too. Absolutely yeah. can. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, some of the new meditations for people that follow me all the time, my wife, I just always listen to my wife. I Even David and I were talking today. He said, what's your key to success? And I said, listening to Terry. Now, some of you won't want Terry to coach you because she's very direct and very blunt. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so her videos would be, you know, 12 seconds long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut the F up and sit on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but I, I keep telling her, I think those would be the funniest videos in the world. You yeah. Know? So Terry can do a video every day. You know what to do, do it. Stop, yeah. crying, stop complaining. You know what to do, do it. That is so true. That is uh, so true. And now that I told you to do it, I don't need to hear Arthur put it in the F word. I don't need to hear the F word. Yeah, but just take that out of your vocabulary. So you know what to do. Just do it and do it right now. Do it today. Yeah, but you said you, I told you not to fucking say that. I'm not talking to you anymore. I got to go. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Practice what we preach to, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, Lisa we Marie, yeah, I I whenever I measure it, this is hard for me to say, and I don't know if Matt's on here, he doesn't need to come on. But if you guys have seen me in the last two years, let me tell you the biggest thing that makes me happy. The biggest thing that I'm so so and like you guys say that you're supposed to love your learn to love yourself. Tell me the things that for in 2023, you got another week to do it. What are the, write, write a list of things that you're really proud that you did that you didn't do in 22, 21 or before. Just write, write, I, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. Because if you do that, my wife said to me, so I don't get off that story, is she's going, I think that we've listened to Bob Proctor enough. And I said, Okay. She goes, didn't you used to listen to uh, meditations uh, every night from Abraham Hicks? I said, I did. And she said, let's go back to those. Okay. You know, I did the same thing. And, and then, and now all of a sudden I'm not. Yeah. I, Abraham it, Hicks stoked my fire all the yeah. time. So yeah. And I so. Yeah, I, 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 if I had my phone here, I would tell you guys which one is it. Um, but it's the one where, you know, it's they're like 10 or 13 minutes long. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like called like getting into the vortex or something. Uh, um, if you that guys, is one of my favorite. Yeah. I think I have that saved on my... Are you talking about enter the vortex? I, I believe so. I'm going to see here which ones that I... There it has like uh, uh, the spinning vortex in the uh, background. Yeah. Okay. I have that. I will post that in the chats. Good. Thank you. So, so it's, it's uh yeah, you know, it, it, you gotta, you gotta not only trust a, uh, a higher power, but you also got to trust, you know, what you should be listening to, especially when it seems like it comes out of nowhere. You know, it's like all of a sudden your, your mind goes, you know, well, when's the last time that you listened to this? When, when When's the last time you listened to this? Uh, yeah, it's got a, uh, it's got a purple. Will this bring it up? It's like a spiral, right? Yep. 
Yeah, that's the one I'm, it, and it has, says enter the vortex on the front. Yeah, and it, it's a general well-being meditation. That's 15 minutes. Financial well-being meditation, 15. Physical well-being meditation, 15. Relationships and well-being meditation, 15. Wow, they're all 15. And and uh, yeah, and, and so these are the ones that we're listening to, uh, to uh, when I go to sleep. I have the ability to really, because I practice, I'll put a neck pillow behind my neck. Uh, Terry will go to sleep and like, 3.4 seconds. It's it's amazing. Um, and she'll even she'll fall asleep while she's telling me, I, I love you back. I just say I, I love you, sweet dreams. And then she's gone. And and so um but I I have the ability to put my neck pillow purposely on so that I'll listen to the 13 or 15 minutes, and then when it's done. Then what I do is I grab my phone that's on my bed and then I switch it. I switch it to the eight hour one that I listen to all night. And it's crazy when that eight, when that, when that eight hours is up, I'm up. It's like, are you? <laughs> yeah, it's like, because there's, there's nothing <clears throat> playing. I, I, there's nothing playing. I got to get up. You yeah. Know? You know, and I have that in my ears. I said, I've got a regular playlist for the ones that, I got the six days and then Bob Proctor and a couple of Abrahams and, and it just continued. And then I've yeah. got the four chapters. That's another thing. Four chapters. We were always talking about four, 14 and seven. And um, I, I think it was Bob Proctor that said it should be the, I can't remember the other chapter now. Good grief. Anyway, I've got that in in that playlist too. So I've always got something in my ear as well. Yeah. Three thirty it ends though when I'm awake too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's four fourteen and seven. Four fourteen and seven. Yeah. Is there one more that Bob Proctor speaks of that should be in there too? No. No, Bob okay. Proctor's always said the four fourteen and seven. Okay. I believe, again, like everything, I always believe that, you know, you know, reading the chapter every night before you go to bed, what I truly believe, Lisa Marie, is that anything that someone tells us that we're willing to create a new habit and just do that makes it so the rest of everything else works. I can it, feel it, that. It's, yeah. you, it's you being able to always tell somebody that I read that book. I did what it said in the book. Watch what that does for you tonight, mm -hmm. because even though you're telling us about it now, isn't it amazing that the very first thing that you said is I now found the scrolls and I'm going to do this for that amount of time. Mm -hmm. so you, yeah. you now know you have the availability, whether it's listening to the, uh, the strangest secret by Earl Nightingale. And they tell you it's to every part of my life because I've got my butt back in the gym. You know, I'm doing the, I'm getting the good habits yes. back into my life again. You know, so you're, where they building, you're building that posture, you're building that confidence, mm -hmm. you're building that belief in yourself and, right. and it compounds. It really starts to compound. Like you guys have heard me, the scales of balance or the, 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 the human size Vaseline teeter totter. You know, I got a lot of great analogies, but it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, um, I watched someone the other day and, and, and I'll leave you with this, Lisa Marie. Um, I'm trying to think who I listened to just recently and it might've been Alex. Um, but he said, why doesn't people understand that three years ago I had 2000 subscribers? He goes, people don't hear me. I added content believing that this would work for four years. He said, two years ago, I was jacked out of my mind because I went from 30,000 to 100,000. I told my wife, we're done. We live on 30,000. I made 100,000. We could take the next three years off <laughs> if we didn't change the way we live. And he goes, that did something to me. And then I looked and I went, 
wow, how did I go from a hundred thousand to half a million? And then I went from a half a million to a 2.1. And then I went from 2.1 to 10 million. He goes, I'm doing the same stuff that I'm doing today that I did when I didn't believe in myself. But what I did is I kept going through the valley of despair and then starting over. Valley of despair doing it. How many times have you guys heard people go, I'm just going to shut everything down. I'm starting over. That's me. <laughs> that's screw, screw the group that's not doing anything. I'm just going to start over. Because you start over because you're in the valley of despair and you're not willing to believe that if you just kept kept doing it consistently, that you would get this geometric progression thing. Because you're looking at a guy that two by two by two by two. Did I sound like Trump there a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, you know, I, I know I can bring in two that bring in two and, you know, this is amazing, two and two. And then I, I just remember like it was yesterday where something popped in my head and I went, I got eight people that are telling me that they got 10 people watching the video a day. That's, and I'm doing 10. That's 90 presentations going on a day. You can't, you can't tell a story to 90 people a day and not get results. When I got in, it took me a month to talk to 72 conversations. People watching the video. Mm -hmm. So I had a short con conversation with people enough to get them excited to give me their phone number so that they could watch the video. I had to drive over to their home and set an appointment, watch them do the video. But I remember like yesterday when I went, holy cow, I right now have 90 presentations going on a day. And the That's number bound to eventually get something. And, and, and the right. numbers showed that. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow, I did, I did a half a million in volume. Then it was, oh my God, I did a million dollars in volume a month. And then it went, we brought in 15,000 people last month. One wow. month, 15,000 brand new people came in and we did 43 million in volume. I know what to do. Let's change everything. So if you guys know me that's why i'm i've been rewarded very very well for being a master at the little shit you just got to figure out what one of those things are mm -hmm. and like i told bob i can get good at these basic things or it could make it so simplistic that i could get tens of thousands of people to do the basic little things <laughs> right yeah. That all of a sudden you start going like, uh, oh my God, you know? So if I got 10,000 views, 10,000 views on Steps to Success and Freedom, but I told everyone to download it and put it on their own YouTube channel so they could see the views. So I really don't know how many views this video is getting. That's true, yeah. So if I took 10,000 views and I divided that by 365, that means that 27 people viewed it a day on average. Are you, do you guys have a video that's getting an average of 27 views every single day? I don't know what, I have that one and I, and I did download it and I think that it has 400 views. Okay. Are you so, guys, yeah, it's just, it's just as, I still believe it and no one can prove me wrong because the thing that I have that other people don't have is my data. I have my data, right? So I still believe that if you say as little as possible to as many people as you can, as fast as you can, that you can't say the wrong thing to the right people. I just have not found the right people. That's all. So That's all. So, if you planted a bunch of seeds and none of them grew, 
I would say change your seed. Mm -hmm. Change your seed, change your message. And everyone goes, I'm doing exactly what you're doing, Robert. That's impossible. I don't think so. That's impossible. No, because, because yeah, no, you're we're adding not. more. You're <laughs> mm -hmm. sending them to your bit link. You're sending them to a capture page. You're saying more shit than I say. You're posting mm -hmm. more stuff than I'm saying. You're not doing what I'm doing. And I, how many of you have ever listened to a coach say this? I got to do it. I got to think so it's backwards. Say as much as you can to as little as the smallest amount of people you can. I'm going to say the other one. As slow as you can. <laughs> if I said that, listen, here's the true way to success. You want to talk as much as humanly possible to as few people as possible. Uh, as slow as you can. See, when I say it the other way, people go, oh, that makes sense. But if I said it backwards, every one of you would go, that's bullshit. <laughs> that, that, that's bullshit. And I'm going, yeah. But when I say the other one, you go, that's bullshit. The guy that I'm listening to that I, I do a lot of talking about him right now is saying, uh, Craig Postum, this Alex guy. I watched a video today, and this is what he said. He said, if you're not having, because he had to change his language as well. He said, if you're not having 4,000 conversations, you're never going to get good enough to ever get anybody in. That's the stuff my mentor used to say to me that I'm scared to say to you. So if I'm scared to say that to people, I'm going to just start sending them Alex video. So then Alex can be in their face. <laughs> How many of you have I sent that video to? The guy's going, you contact. There's no reason you should have an email address that you haven't sent an email to. There is no reason that you should have a phone number to someone that you haven't reached out to. There shouldn't be people in your contact list that you shouldn't have reached out to. If you haven't, you don't believe in you. You don't believe in you and whatever you're doing, stop doing it because you don't believe what you're doing can benefit other people. You don't. So if you got a restaurant and you got two pieces of bread that you're throwing bologna in it, and you're wondering why no one's referring your restaurant is because your menu shit, your food is shit. Right. Give them something that gives them value. Mm hmm. Okay. I needed this. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I but I'm so proud of you, Lisa Marie. I hope you're proud of you. I am. Absolutely. And yeah, I am. Thank you so much awesome. for spending the time. You too. Love you. Wow. Lisa, thank you so much for bringing out all of that from Robert. Yeah, she always gets me going. Yes, she does a great job, too. Uh, okay, I've got uh, two online questions. Okay. One I'm going to have right now, and then we're going to – actually, I want to go to one of the questions because it's quick. We'll go to Coach Bob, and then we'll wrap up with the other question. Because I think all the questions are quick. It's just I don't know how to give a short answer. <laughs> It's like, it's like you, you, some of you are going, is there any way that I can just pull the string on Robert's back this much? You know what I mean? Should I advertise? No. You know what I mean? It's just, but can we go on to the next question? No. It's like, you guys do it to me. It's like, should I advertise? Oh, pull that string out. Oh. <laughs> And we love you for it, Robert. Uh, and I hope you guys know that, you know, I let go and let God. I, I pray before I get on these calls and ask for the downloads to say to those that have ears to hear. And, uh, you know, I'm always surprised when I'm doing these for two hours, three hours, and all these wonderful people are still listening. So I, I love you. So maybe what I'm giving you is actually working. <laughs> All right, that's going to beg this question from your moderator, me. 
oh. how many of how many of you like this? Ah, thank you. All right, there's our answer. Thank you very much, I Robert. Seen, we I appreciate. Seen, it. I seen two hands from one person. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> It, the, the question will be is if we see three and four hands from the same person. Uh, people are putting me. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Okay. The real, what I think is the quick question, but we'll find out. Um, George Dudley is asking, is there an updated version to the professor with how he's building now? No. Okay. I, you know, and I think the professor is a great standalone. I think he's hard to update. Every time I watch that video, I go, geez, you were in the pocket on that one. You you were in the pocket. You were in character. Yeah. So, no, I, I believe that. Not I believe I know that over the years I have broken down the professor and putting every part of the professor into different videos. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be current. Um, but now see, there's a string coming out a little more. Um, <laughs> David Rutz, I, I, I'm going to get him on a podcast. David Rutz said, I, I can't tell you how much I talk about you as my mentor. And I said, really? And he goes, there's two things that you did that no, no other mentor has ever done for me. One, you sat with me face to face and told me exactly what I needed to do. So now I know why AMAs and inner circles work so well. You know what I mean? You zoned in on me and told me what I needed to do. And even though I didn't believe that I could do that stuff. I did that stuff because I believed that you knew what you were talking about. And when I did that stuff, it put me in a posture where I got results. And he said, so you said that you're not looking for everyone, that you're looking for a few individuals that you could spend personal time with. And I wanted to be one of those few people. He said, secondly, <clears throat> you help me bring in my first couple of people. You didn't tell me like every other jerk on the planet. You didn't tell me. You grabbed me, showed me a plan. I told you who the best people I know was. And we called them, set an appointment with them. And you went over with me. And met with them. I watched you bring my people in. And he says, I am always upset ever since you told me that, that I just don't have other people that trust the process enough to actually do what you say and put people in front of you. So I knew that you were away from your wife and your kids living in Montana and here you are in Michigan to work with me. And I was going to be one of those few people that I wanted you to say, I can't talk to any more people. You're pushing me too hard. And he said, you would just get in a car with me. You never knew where the hell you're going. And I would take you to another meeting and you would talk to them the same way you talk to everybody else I put in front of you. So I went to the top of the comp plan doing what you asked me to do. And I went, you need to be on a podcast because David not only became one of the top reps in NSA and Equinox, but then he became the, one of the top reps in a company called ACN. Then he started his own company called the Free Network. So he did exactly what ACN did, but he had this stupid concept. It's so stupid that instead of charging people $500 or more to get in, why don't you just allow them in for free? Called the free network. And I have no idea where he got that stupid idea. I just know that 
I was the first person to do his presentation and his training for him, even though I was the number one rep worldwide in a, in a competitive company, one of my people broke away and started their own company doing the same thing, but allowing people in for free. So I helped him do his fast start. I helped him do his presentation on doing that. And so the free network exploded. And then when long distance disappeared, he changed to nutrition and called it Escape International. And he made so much money with Escape International that Longevity bought it. So bought his company, his downline and everything, lock, stock and barrel. And so he then moved from that and started the company that he's doing now that has to do with finance, helping small and large business get loans. And guess what? Guess how much it costs to get involved? Wow. So some people listen to me and it's pretty damn exciting when, when someone listens to you and, and uh, you're doing posts back and forth on celebrating that each and every, that each one of you got a new model plaid S and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's fun to have those kind of people. <laughs> So wow. I'm done now. Thank you for sharing that, Robert. And people can uh, watch The Professor. I've posted the links in the chats. There's a lot of other links. We'll tell you how to get those links in the chats uh, as we wrap this up. But we still got more to go. We got questions. Let's we got go. two people Let's go. with their hands raised. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Coach Bob, open up, please, and share with us. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I'd like to wish everyone uh, and their families a wonderful Christmas, blessed and wonderful Christmas. Um, love all you guys here. Um, and uh, Lisa Marie, we love, I mean, you might not have a lot of hits and that that you want, but we. I still love seeing you on there. Keep it up. I, I You know, I, I love it. It made me sad when you thought, that you were going to give that up or just stop it. You know what I mean? I, um, I have, I have, I give out predict. Can you hear me? Everyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I give out predictions on my, my channel too. And I, I get to the point where, so I give out, uh, sports picks and I just do it for fun. I don't do it for, um, any, uh, clicks or anything, but you know, I get a few nice comments on there and makes me feel good, you know, and people are missing my picks at times. So, um, I know how you feel, you know, and it takes time that editing and all that stuff, but please don't quit. I mean, we would really miss it. All of our inner circle people. We love yeah. you. Thank I you. appreciate that, Bob. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I get time, I, I, I always enjoy listening to you. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so my question is for you, Robert is, is, you know, I, I want to start on all these things. You know, I, I have a schedule that I do in the morning and I go through it. I try to stay religious to it. And, you know, I want to start doing videos, you know, but it just takes time with the editing and then putting them on and then different formats for each one, the TikTok and this and that, um, dealing with customers, um, trying to connect with people. So how do you, how do you organize your stuff that, you're doing the right things at the right time. And you know what I'm saying? Well, what I do know what you're saying, and that stopped me from doing the stuff that I'm doing now to make a lot of money. Uh, I had to just stop thinking about all that stuff and just do what I could. Okay. So when I started doing, uh, when I made a commitment to do a video every day, I took all the excuses that you just said, and I just stopped using them. Okay. I just said, I for now, I need to discipline myself in doing a video a day about whatever subject. And I'm just going to be disciplined to do a video a day. I'm not going to worry about lighting. I'm not going to worry about camera. I'm not going to edit them. In fact, I'm not even going to rewatch them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. So you just, just throw it out there, right? Yep. Now, do you do? Yep. And that's what I did. I just started doing every day. I just started doing it. Then as you're doing it, you're disciplined in doing that. Then you're going to attract the stuff that you need to do the other things. Okay. Right. So 
at one time, Craig wasn't working with us. And then all of a sudden, Craig was. And then all of a sudden, we started getting more views. And Matt started doing some more. And then when we switched to YouTube, then it really, really changed. And Matt and Craig, all of us watching the views, the, the money going up, the more views, the more subscribers, the money going up, then this was rewarding for us. And so what we did is spend more time doing it. So it was like one video a week that we were actually putting on any other networks to now being nine a week. Then it went to nine a day. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why is the YouTube channel started making enough money so I could so I could give Craig uh, a small amount of what he's worth. But he knows that as it increases, that he gets increases, right? right? And so Matt started seeing the reward in it. Now Matt and Craig are now working together because what they know, they want to start teaching others how to do that and they can manage those people. Sure. So that's how we're going to 10 exit for 24. Oh. So it's like, that's what you do. You start out doing what you, you're you supposed to do. And then what you do is you start learning all the shortcuts because now all of a sudden, because you're doing it, you now are open-minded to, I don't need this to take more of my time. So right now, if I asked you, which is a great thing to say to you, because this happened to me, you know, at a certain area of my life. It just seemed like, it seemed like for like five or six years, I couldn't make over a million dollars. I know some of you are really, you know, feel sorry for me. I, I get it. <laughs> um, but it was like, I just couldn't make over a million dollars. And and I, I actually got um, Barry, uh, trying to think of his name. It'll hit me in it. Dr. George Pratt. Dr. George Pratt. And I found out that Tony Robbins and Brendan Burchard had a personal performance coach like athlete, athletes do. And so George, Dr. George Pratt, you know, he's like the top psychologist, psychiatrist for this La Jolla, you know, hospital in, in La Jolla, California, down by San Diego. And so I just said, this is bullshit. I'm going to go meet with him. And so as soon as I sat down, Terry and I went there and he goes, what do you want to do? And I said, I feel like there's something that's holding me at a million dollars. And he goes, who do you hear this from? And I said, Brendan Burchard, he helped me write my book. Uh, I, I, I paid him, me and Max went and we formed a book that, that did really, really well. And he goes, do you, he says, I got a picture for you. He opens up his filing cabinet, he pulls out a picture and it was him and Brendan Burchard. <laughs> and I went, okay. And he goes, how many employees does Brendan Burchard have? I said, I don't know. And he says, 30. I said, okay. He goes, how many employees do you have? I went zero. He goes, uh, you know, pay the receptionist on your way out. <laughs> he did not do that, by the way. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, though. It would have been. It would have <laughs> been. And he's going, so why aren't you hiring people? And I said, different things that you said when you first got on. I don't know if I'd find the right people. I I, I just had this whole list of shit, right. Bob. And I mean that, a list of shit. I just had this list of shit that told me that I was being rewarded for what I was already doing. The reason that a majority of the people that listen to me won't change what they're doing is because they're getting a reward from what they're doing right now. So they would love it to scale up. They're just not applying leverage. Leverage is somebody else doing it too. What is network marketing for Robert Hollis? 
I get a company to pay them to do what they're supposed to do anything and the company gives me a percentage <laughs> of it. It's fucking amazing. So I had to take this, you know, model and go, oh man, if I start hiring people and then it always scales up. So I was watching a, one with uh, Patrick Bet David and he was just recently doing an interview on a on a personal jet. And he goes, man, he says, I, you know, we really have been doing well. And he says, so I sat down with a couple of people that, you know, make 700, 800 million. And I'm like a year. And I go, what's the difference? And he goes, oh, we started headhunting and taking the best people in the world that work for billion dollar companies. And we started rating them and taking them out. <laughs> and he said, what was the first thought I had in my head? What the hell? How much does it cost to pull a chief operating officer out of a billion dollar company? He goes, if you ask that question, you're not ready. <laughs> Holy shit. Did that pop for you guys? Yeah. So the people that are making hundreds of millions of dollars and billions of dollars, they have no trouble. I mean, Sam, the the, the guy that uh, got fired from chat GPT. Sam Altman. Yeah. Can you guys imagine that someone said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you hear Sam Altman got fired? And there's someone on the phone. We got you. <laughs> yeah, we got you. Come work for us. Bring your whole team. Um, you don't even know what I want. We don't care. We don't care. You got 100 million paid subscribers and you did it faster than anybody else. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Why would someone get rid of, you know? So there's just, stuff that yeah, you man. do right now, Bob, that you know that other people can do. Yeah. 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 And you and got, the, you got, you you got to find them and you got to learn to, uh, I'll give you one quick thing that I heard from Elon Musk that's powerful. He said, when he's interviewing people, this is the only question that he asked them. He said, it's a two part question. Bob, before we get together, uh, the interview I have for you is tell me the biggest problem that you've ever solved. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. And then they go, well, the biggest problem I ever solved was, um, you know, I wanted to transition from being employed to actually being self-employed and making enough money where I wasn't putting my family uh, in, a, in a in a place where they had to downgrade their life that 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 was my biggest thing and you're you're that way now yeah um tell me the steps that you figured out how to do that because he goes if you're sitting across from someone that's never done it they can't lie about that stuff right. tell me the biggest problem that you have how you solved it how you solved it. Tell me how you solved it. Because someone that has to create or create a problem, solve a problem like that, and they tell you the steps that they did, now you're listening to somebody that you would love to be working with. Right. So Craig and Matthew and whoever else comes along in our journey is going to know that as the company expands, so does their benefit and so does their ass impact. Look at, I can get the smile off Craig's face up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and it's like, you got to find the right people like that, that, that say, listen, you know, I got a lot of things going, but I'm going to add this as well. And so that's, that's my deal to you. You, you got to figure, you got to get leverage. Sure. 
it's just the, seeing where to spend. The problem is too, is just, is this important or is this important? And I mean, I'm working 12 hours a day anyways on my, on this thing. So I'm building websites, talking to, you know, it's just, where do I fit in the social media? Where, you know, do you there, cut, do, out of all the things that you do, out of all the things that you do every day, there's things that you're doing because you got in the habit of doing them. That's really not adding anything to your income. Right. I, I, I agree. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay. So me personally, right. I do this ritual where I get up in the morning and the very first thing I do is I make a post on all my social medias. There's a lot of medias that I put post on that ain't doing shit. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. I need to stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when I do my Facebook, my, my, see, I still need to change my language. When I do my YouTube live every day, um, Matt and Craig gave me a solution of something that would take less of my time. And I talk them out of it. I realize that right now while I'm talking to you about it. <laughs> they go, listen, we can put the post together in YouTube. The graphic's going to be clearer. And all you need to do is click on it. And what did I say? Uh, yeah, but I'm the one that's sharing it on LinkedIn. I'm the one that's sharing it on Twitter. And I'm the one that's sharing it on also the vision group and also that the, the deal. So how am I going to share that? And they're like, the same way. And I wouldn't let them change the process because apparently I get some kind of reward out of spending 15 minutes doing that shit when they tell me that I don't need to do that. I'm sure there's nothing that you're doing that is if someone was watching behind your back that knew a, a, some of what you know. Right. And they're sitting behind your back and you're going, so what are you doing now? Well, I'm doing this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And how long is that going to take? Well, by the time I finish it all about probably an hour, hour and a half. And what does that reap you? What, what What's the harvest on that one exercise for an hour and a half? Um, it's just something that I learned that I believe is part of the process that's getting me to the end. So you're, so what you're telling me is you're not measuring it because if you're measuring where you are getting that data from doing that exercise, that really questions me and what you're doing because right. you're just fucking doing it. And you don't even know if you're getting any leads, any sales or anything from it. Yeah, but it's just part of the process. All right. I thought I weighed that pretty obvious to you, but like Craig and Matt, they didn't make it obvious to me. <laughs> right. But when you get stuck some doing something, you know, you, you don't you don't think in your head like, OK, you think, well, this might be productive down the line. Yeah. But, but like you said, you know, like LinkedIn. I don't know if anyone looks at LinkedIn. I go on there a lot and I do stuff on LinkedIn and it's like, am I wasting my time on there? Um, and then I, I get your vision groups posts and your posts. So it's like, is it double? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, so, but like, but not thinking about it. And if you just keep doing it, like you said, so basically what you're saying to me is I should go back <laughs> and evaluate and evaluate everything I do, put a value on it somewhat. Yeah. And, and, um, but if you wanted to continue to do it, let I've told people this before they go, well, I want to do a uh, Facebook live every day. And I go, because I'm willing to challenge my own beliefs. I realized that I was persistent and consistent for a year in doing Facebook lives. Lives. And I didn't get anything out of it. Here's the worst thing. Facebook doesn't pay me shit. I switched from Facebook to YouTube and I increased my year income by $10,000 
and can employ Craig. That was a good fucking move. <laughs> I, I was just, I was doing the same thing, right. but I needed revenue to pay people like Craig. So when you got to start thinking, how can I get someone to do this? So if there's things that you're doing, Bob, that are not making you money that take up time, here's where you really will find out if it's necessary. Hire someone to do that. That makes sense, right? And, and then, so when you go to hire them and they go, well, you know, I'll, I'll do exactly what you're doing an hour and a half every day. And I'll do that for 400 bucks a month. And you're going, well, what you're doing is not making any money. So you would tell an employee right away, stop doing that. <laughs> right. Bob, you pulled that out of me. I Think know. about that, you guys. You're paying somebody $400 to do something that you're doing that's wasting your time. And when you see what they're doing, you go, Hey, Bob, I don't know how to tell you this, but I hope you're okay with it. Since I'm paying you 400 bucks a month, can I actually get you to focus on shit that makes me money? Uh, you sure could. You're, you're, you're my boss, Bob. What else would you like me to do? Well, now that I drew out a bunch of shit that I'm doing that's nothing but a waste of time for me, what I'm going to do, uh, here's one. Since you got me, Bob, how many people are glad that Bob gets me to these places, right? <laughs> Okay, I, I want to pay someone, and I'll, I'm going to start out by paying you high. I'm going to pay you $100 a day. Okay, $100 a day. What's that, $3,000 a month? All right? I'm going to pay someone. I want you to reach out to me if you want this job. But I'm going to pay you $3,000 a month, and all I want you to do is scroll on social media. <laughs> People are going, holy shit, this is the easiest job in the world. That's what I already fucking do. <laughs> I actually could get paid for doing nothing. This is something that I would do anyway. That might be something that you don't want to do anyone. I bet you there's people that watch this video since you pulled this out. I know there's people that are going, you know, I like Robert's comment posts. I also heart him up. I also say a nice little comment. And he never does any of that for me. Well, it's because I'm focused on doing other shit. That's more impactful. Right. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys, but I at least dedicate a number of hours a month to you guys. Sure. So if it's inner circle or ask me anything or even podcast, I do my best to give you as much value as I can. So if I'm going to put that much effort in giving you guys that kind of valuables, um, I just apologize to you up front. And I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me for not liking and making a comment or a heart on any of your posts. Yeah. Oh, I I agree, Robert. I, I get caught up doing that. And, 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 and I, you know, I, I said, well, I'll block out 15 minutes to just go through posts and just like something, but then I get caught up and then it's like an hour, you know, I'm commenting on, and then we're well, well, right. And, and I did block off a little bit and then I go, well, I'll just stretch out my time a little bit more. You know what I mean? On everything else. So I, I guess you're right. I got to really just yeah. set a little time for that. Right. You know, if you, it's you know what my minutes. mentor what my mentor did for me the very first um three days that I spent with him I thought I had that notebook sitting here doesn't matter he said Robert will you do everything I tell you and I said yeah and he says I want you to journal forty eight hours just journal forty eight hours now this is before I knew anything about this industry. He goes, I want 48 hours. I want you to write down when you got up, what you did, what you did, what you did, what you did. I want you to journal 48 hours for me. And I said, I'll do it. He says, call me when you're done. I did it. And I called him back and he goes, uh, 
am I ever going to hear from you again that you don't have enough time? I said, no, sir. <laughs> because you visually get to see it. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's right. like, oh my God, I didn't realize I was watching news every day. No, I don't watch news every day. I watch one network and then go to the other network and then watch the other network. It's like, I really need to get my news. You know what I mean? I, I got to get it from different opinions. Uh, I heard from people that, you know, it's sort of stupid not knowing what's going on in the world. Yeah, you need to know what's going on in the world when you can't create your own world. You need to know what's going on in economics in the world when you don't know how to create your own economics. <laughs> and it, it's like wow I, see and that's one exercise so you being an entrepreneur that's what i would ask you to do yeah i'm gonna do that that's a great yeah, idea just, i'm gonna just because you got a notepad you're on a laptop or a computer sure and you're like you know okay 115 i did started doing this and then all of a sudden it's like i told myself it was going to be 15 minutes that was an hour and a half but I really enjoyed that conversation talking about whether or not the masks are coming back. Yeah, it's like I'm not saying that about you. I'm saying oh, that. Oh no, it is everybody. true. You're saying the true stuff. I mean, yeah. it's true. Well, you we know? get distracted, squirrel. You know yeah. what I mean? Squirrel. You know what I mean? And it's like you get um, a call, you know, I just gotta turn off the phone, you know, just focus on on what's important. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much. You helped a lot, Robert. And when you do that, just look at, I, I'll, I'm going to send you a video. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in here for people if they want to watch it. If you don't, uh, you guys know me that I love, I love to learn uh, that, you know, uh, that goes back to, um, that goes back to what uh, Lisa Marie asked, right? I can't watch other people kick ass and not want to kick ass. I just, I just, and you know what? I've never said that before either. It's impossible for me to watch other people kicking ass and winning in life and not be the same. So it used to be Jay Shetty for me. It used to be Abraham Hicks for me. And now it's this Alex. And, and I mean, Man, I, I watched this video today and uh, Arthur sent me, I think the last one I watch on how to get customers. And if you guys watch this video, so how to get so rich, he capitalizes SO, rich, you question the meaning of making money. And if you guys watch this video, you are going to get a major ass kicking. Because he talks about the same thing. He said, you know, at the beginning of the video, he just talks about, you know, I was the brokest person on the planet. And man, did I have a lot of businesses. <laughs> and so I'm not going to steal the thunder, but it really is. It's so validating for me. And it's so you know, here's this guy, he's 33 years old and I hear what he says and and I see the principles and how he does stuff. And I'm going like, holy shit, this guy is rat on the fricking money. And the only difference I, that of me than a lot of people in the world is if I was learning from a white belt, then I go and learn from someone that's an orange belt. And if all of a sudden a guy comes in and he's a three, three, uh, third degree black belt and he's got an Olympic gold medal on his neck, the one thing I know that I do better than every, everyone is I have the ability to stop, forget everything I fucking know, and listen to this <laughs> guy. What people can't do and won't do is, like I just said, Bob, you're getting some kind of reward right now from doing what you're doing. And you don't realize that the reward you're getting from doing what you're doing is keeping you exactly where you fucking are. End of story. So I see Monty on here. I don't know if you guys have met Monty is one of my dear friends. And, and uh, I just say to people all the time when I say to Monty, I sent Monty this video today. And, and you guys wanna hear how humble I try to be? 
I was saying, hey, Monty, I love you. I just love who you are. You're an awesome human being. Um, but since you won't listen to me, maybe you'll listen to this guy. <laughs> That's what I said to Monty. I was going like, because I'm proud of Monty. Monty found this and he's done enough to not have to work for another human being. I can't tell you how proud of Monty I am. The problem is Monty started learning from a bunch of orange belts. And because he learned from a bunch of orange belt, he's getting orange belt results. And I'm over here going, hey, do you know anyone that wants to make a million dollars and a year? And he's <clears throat> like, no, I'm too busy doing orange belt shit to do the black belt shit. And I'm going, I'm going to be here for you when you're ready because you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get sick and tired of saying, why is it that when I bring people into this company that they don't do what they're supposed to do so I get rewarded? It's not the company. It's you. Why aren't you doing the things to make sure that they get results so they stick? I met David Rutz 37 years ago. He hasn't had a job for 37 years. And the guy's made millions. And he's got tens of thousands of people underneath him that are making money because he understands leverage. You got to be in a you got to be in a leverage business to get leverage. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're bringing somebody in and you're getting paid from them and then they bring 20 people in and you get paid on a couple of them and then you don't. That's sales. See what I mean? Yeah. You want to bring somebody in that brings in a thousand people. And every time a thousand people do anything, you get paid. Different model. So why can't those people ever switch? Because they're getting rewarded for doing the same thing. Let's come up with another course. Let's come up with another book. Let's come up with another seminar. Let's come up with another course. Let's come up with a different affiliate program. Let's do this one now. This one went under. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's this one. And that's that chart all over again. And I've showed every one of these guys that chart. So you're excited, ignorance on fire, uninformed uh, uh, optimist. Then you start learning that this is not so easy. But you're still working hard. You still got to focus on it because you're making rewards for it. If I stop what I'm doing, I'm going to go broke. Uh, no, you could stop doing what you're doing and doing something better. And then you actually get a better result. <laughs> <laughs> so so I tell people all the time, I would tell Monty and you, Bob, it, do, how to get, say, if this is not leverage, if this is not duplicatable, I'm not doing it. So step one for both of you is write a list of the stuff that you're doing each and every day that you know for a fact is getting no results. Stop doing that shit. Second step. Now start doing what I share with you or what Alex shares with you. If you won't listen to me, and that's what you got to use to fill that time. Believing that if I do this correctly, I'm going to find a couple other people that want to make more than me. And in a blink of an eye, I'm making more money than when I was doing the other shit. And then I'll talk to you. It's like, I'm going to say one other thing that I'm done. When I see some of the top coaches in this space of affiliate marketing and Josh Wagel can put something together like, you know, self-employed tax credit. And you see the biggest names in affiliate marketing posting the same page that Josh Swagel's posting. That's, I mean, fuck. I, I'm just like, you know, so John Milton does a post and Ray Higdon does a post right. and these other people are doing these posts. And I even had people reach out to me and they go, are these affiliate marketers stealing Josh's system? I go, no, they're enrolled in his system. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's an affiliate thing to him, them. 
There is, it's another affiliate thing. So how do affiliate marketers make money? Doing a lot of affiliate programs. What if you had to do one that would make you a million? What if you could teach other people how to make millions from it and then you don't have to do anything? So I was very blessed running into a mentor that, and there wasn't no internet, so I didn't have anyone else to listen to. I knew one guy that made 62 grand a month and that's the dude I listened to. <laughs> a good guy yeah. you guys have a lot of options you got people hitting you with new opportunities every day yeah. uh i just i'm just not in my, my mind goes is the company five years old no it just started you got to get in now before everybody else gets in no i build that other model where i have people that are buying stuff from me every month and they have for almost six years i'm in that that model that they say doesn't work. Here's how much talent these guys have. They've been in my companies under me. They won't listen to me and they go back to that shit. That, that has got to be, that's got, well, I've seen Robert's back office. This guy makes, you know, so much money. Um, but I'm just going to go back to making a little money in the struggle. And working so many hours that most of them have are on their second and third wives <laughs> because they hustle so freaking much. They spend no time with their spouse and children because they're in the hamster's cage running wide freaking open. Then you look in your online banking and you're like, what? This affiliate program didn't pay me? Son of a bitch. Who's who's the first one to the next one? Let's go. Let, let's go. It's like I'm going like, oh, my God. <laughs> Just doing the same thing over and over and over again. So, uh, yeah. I love you guys. Yeah, I love you too. Thanks so much, Robert. And it was nice meeting you, Monty. And best Thank of luck. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Robert, for all your wisdom. Coach Bob, nice meeting you as well yes. and everybody else. Yeah, um, do you have you guys ever communicated? No, no, I haven't. So I first, have. You guys could, so then both of you can say to each other, Well, I wouldn't do that. And then the other way, I would. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I actually appreciate it. Um, I just want to move forward. It's a new year and it's time to get new habits. So I, I'm telling you, Monty, there's, there's, there's only two things that I could share with you if you did them. You, you would replace your income just as fast as when you made the decision that you didn't want to work for a place that worked you in 120 degree weather. So you pass out. I mean, you guys try to find a why. Monty's why was one of the biggest whys I've ever seen. So I called him up and he goes, I just don't know how to do this. I don't know if I can be an entrepreneur. And then he calls me up and he goes, guess where I am? And I said, where? And he said, in the hospital. Uh, I almost died because of heat adjustion and I'm dehydrated and I almost lost my life. I can't, I can't do oh. this anymore. And I go, well, that's a reason to be around for your wife and your children. This is what you need to do. And I remember like it was yesterday, Monty says, if I have to spend 24 hours on a day, a day contacting people on social media, I'm going to do it. I, I'm not going back to that shit. And and he pulled it off, man. I'm I'm so fucking proud of you, Monty. Oh, I wish you the best, buddy. <laughs> Monty's got yeah. such a beautiful heart, man. He's just you can see that, yeah. Uh, yeah, Terry loves him. He leaves leaves me and Terry some of the awesome, most awesome messages. But I believe in you, brother. I believe yeah. in you. Wow, you can, that's do, right. you can uh, do anything that you put your mind to. I'm gonna do it. I know I could do it. I just gotta uh it's a new year. Um, like I said, I want to move forward and develop some other awesome habits. And thanks for your recommendation on YouTube because I actually did set up a channel. It's just I, I feel like maybe I waste a little bit too much time on Facebook. So good notes. Well, I, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. You guys can look at my friends on two pages and my followers on two pages. You know, I got 160 some thousand on one page, 33,000 followers on another. I, I think I know 
how to build an audience on Facebook. They just don't pay me. They just don't pay me. So I get to work for Facebook and make no money. And I get to work for YouTube and they pay me 10 grand. Pretty easy decision. So does that mean I stop doing Facebook? This is a good example for both you guys. Because you're being paid and rewarded for doing what you're doing right now. So what I did to make me feel good is when I do a YouTube live, I post it on Facebook. <laughs> I post a YouTube live um, over to Facebook from YouTube or you have- Yeah, when I create the Facebook live, it gives me a place to share. And I just share it on LinkedIn. I share it on X. I share it on Facebook. I share it in the vision group. I share it on my business page. And- YouTube sends me money and Facebook, LinkedIn, and X doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy way to explain it, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love you guys. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. Let, let's finish off unless we have any. All right. Craig. Um, now, just really quick. Do we have time for one more question? Yeah. Okay. Before we go to the question, uh, Jody Falcon, thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate you. Love you. Mm -hmm. Uh, those people that want to donate, uh, in, uh, YouTube, there's a button at the bottom of the chat. It's a dollar sign in a box. Click on that. And then you can donate. And all of the money that goes to the, that are donated will go to the charities that Robert promotes. And he, he puts those, put some right there. Sometimes even doubles them. So yeah. We appreciate you, Robert. We appreciate you, Jody. And we appreciate everybody who's donating. Um, Raphael, Raphael Vargas became an Inner Circle member. And he's the one with the question. Yes. Ah, good. So welcome, Raphael, to the Inner Circle. Uh, every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Special channel. So you got to join roberthollis.com forward slash join or click the button at the bottom of this video if you're watching us on YouTube. Uh, the question that Ra uh, Raphael poses is, when you put in a free affiliate, is there anything specific you say or do to convert them? Or does the plan video do that? And we start going through their list. Yeah. The, the, the step one is do whatever you got to do to get them to become a free affiliate. And again, the fewer words that you can say, the better. Um, one of the things that I've been doing recently that's been working flawless with me is just get people to admit of something they've already done. So this is the quick questions I've been asking people now. I go, I have a quick question. You know, the uh, isn't it called redundant or something like that, which is a question that you ask. It's pretty obvious that they've already done it. Is that is that that I use? Yeah, right pretty word? much redundancy. Yeah. OK, cool. So I say to people. Hey, listen, I want to see if you can do this business. And they go, oh, okay. I go, have you ever bought anything on the internet? And they come back, yeah. Um, did it get delivered? They go, yeah. And I go, have you purchased anything from Amazon? And they go, that's where I bought it. I said, are you a Prime member? And they go, yes. I go, you're trained. Training's over. You just pass the IQ test. So now when I tell them, hey, listen, I'm going to send you a short video of a person that's documented, my friend and business partner, Robert Hollis. And in that video, he's going to show you how to become a free affiliate, just like you did with Amazon. I'll put my link in. Once you become a free affiliate, I'd like to introduce you to the guy on that video and a group chat. I get an email once you become an affiliate. Here's the video. Here's the link. So now Raphael's question is, now you get an email, right? Reach out to him immediately. Hey, Raphael, congratulations on being an Inner Circle member. I really love and appreciate you. Now, the next step is simply this. I'm going to introduce you to Robert Hollis and a group chat. 
hey, Robert, this is Raphael. He just got started. And, and I told him so much about you. All right. Hey, Raphael, I love and appreciate you. I'm honored to be your friend and business partner. And um, hi, Monty. How are you? I hope everything is going great. Monty did that did to me today, right before we did it on a video. He introduced me to this girl from Nigeria named Blessing. Once I congratulated her, I said, listen, I've helped people in Nigeria and all over the world make money. And here's a link called Next Steps. Just go through the videos and you'll know exactly what they did to become successful. That's my next step. So if you guys notice that the video is there, but then it there's a one about brand bucks and how great brand bucks is. And then there's another longer one on brand bucks. And then there's the plan. So I, I don't know why I would create a playlist and then strategically look at it a couple of times a week and keep sorting the videos to put them in a different place. Because one will lead to another that leads to another, it leads to another. So once the person sees the plan, then it's like, well, you understand the plan. So who are you going to introduce me to? Well, I don't know what to do. Don't you think this is funny, Monty? You know, you tell people to watch the videos and then they actually will say to you, well, I don't know what to do. All right. That's okay. But usually it's bullshit. It's bullshit. So walk them through and be patient. Well, Monty, uh, let me show you really quick. Can we jump on Zoom? Yeah. All right, Monty, I want to show you, you know, what how you and I connected. Remember this? Oh, yeah. I remember when you reached out to me or so-and-so connected you with me. I remember that. Okay, then didn't I ask you to watch this short video and then become a free affiliate? Do you remember when you became a free affiliate? I do. I do. And then remember when I connected you with Robert? Yeah. And then he put in next steps. Yeah. I walked you through what you should do. Now, behind that, if they go, I still don't get it. I really honestly say, do you really want to? What Want to what? Do you really want to get it? I mean, honestly. So all of us that made money, made money by contacting somebody. And it usually was someone that we didn't know. How can people forget this? They don't forget it. They're looking for a shortcut. They're not willing to make a commitment and they're not willing to follow instructions. End of story. So why am I here? Because when someone showed me their documentation, I guess I was a weirdo. See, maybe there's not a lot of you people out there. I'm being facetious, another big word, right? But when someone introduced me to someone that was making 62 grand and what this guy wanted to do is teach me what he knew because he made money off of me. I'm not as sophisticated as you guys. I just went, he gets paid off me? Yeah. Then why would he teach me the wrong shit? He wouldn't. Bill, yeah. Just tell me the stuff I need. Don't tell me anymore. Just tell me what I need. Well, Robert, if I endorse this $62,000 check over to you, what would you do with the money? Oh my God, I would do this. I would do this. I would do this. I would do this. How would that make you feel? Oh my God, it would make me feel amazing. Step one, get excited. Can you get excited about your future? Yeah, I can. I can. Great. With that enthusiasm, you need to contact strangers and ask them to do you a huge personal favor. Because we're looking for people that want to make six figures plus a year and walk away from their job. I don't know a lot of people that really believe they can do that. So they can get in. And the goal for us is to change their buying power and to share this enough where they get $200 added to their budget. So do you think you could find people right now that want to add another $2,400 to their budget? Yeah, because I can show those people what to do.
And I go, okay, now I understand that part. What's the third one? You said there was three things. Don't quit. <laughs> Don't quit. And the only thing he did, you guys, was give me challenges. I bet you you can't get 70 people to watch this video. I bet you you can't. I said, you're going to lose. You're, you're going to lose. And he even explained it to me, but I understood it. He said, Robert, I said, I want 70 people to watch, watch this video. I go, I got it. He goes, most people don't. I go, what do you mean? Well, they'll tell me that they waved at 72 people. That's not them watching the video. That they sent a text to 70 people. Uh, that's not watching the video. I go, no, I got it. You don't have to go through all that. But apparently, most people are not mentally challenged like I am. If you say 70 people got to watch this video, I'm not going to say uh, 10 seconds. They watched it for 10 seconds. No, watching, I I'm a pretty simple human being. Watching the video would probably mean watching it to completion. Do I, I you sometimes I think people must watch this video and go, hey, this guy is just a moron. He, he just talks about the same shit over and over again. <laughs> so that's my goal. My goal is to get 70 people to watch this video. Yep. Okay. Got it. I got 70 people to watch the video. 11 of them got involved. Six of them made me a millionaire. Here's where I didn't mess up. Uh, now it's a new month. Yeah. Don't, you don't have to tell me what I'm going to get 70 new people to watch this video. Um, you know, most people just stop right here and then they bitch and complain that their people are not doing anything. And then they fall into the valley of despair. Then they quit and look for a new shiny thing. I'm not that dude. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not that dude. Are you telling me I can make 62 grand a month? He goes, yeah, you need about, you need about 30,000 people underneath you. 30,000 active people. Yeah. Got it. He goes, Robert, you want to hit the top of the company? I do get 2000 people to watch that video all the way through. I'm proud of you. You got 70. And now, see, this was before social media. So if I can be very, very bold with all of you, because I'm listening to someone like Alex, wouldn't it be neat if I just told you until you got 4,000 people to watch the video all the way through? I, you don't, I don't need, I don't need you to waste your time sending me messages about people that are not interested. Fucking stop that. Stop that. Guess what, Robert? I want your attention. Here's a person that's not interested. Just don't waste both of our fucking time. You're looking for interested people. Hey, I found someone that's in another company. Uh, wow. How many people are you going to tell everyone? Hey, I found someone in another company. Hey, I found someone in another company. Hey, I found someone in another company. Did they become a free affiliate? No, they're not interested. Move on. Man, I do have a tendency when I know that things are ending, I just go off, don't I? <laughs> don't take it personal. So I hit 25K in that company 37 years ago, followed it up with 100K and then followed it up at Super. MDC is now nine years old. It's got what, five, six Supers? And no one's hit Super since Terry and I. 
I know you guys love these people and they're really cool people. But if you can't figure out how to go to super affiliate in this day and time, what you're doing is not working. Is that fair? It's just, when's the last time that you promoted someone to 50K? I've never hit 50K. Oh, because you're not saying as little as possible to as many people as you can as fast as you can? Yeah. Love and appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mic drop right there. Wow. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, each and every one of you, for watching. If you want to save the information, we shared a lot of information in both chats, in YouTube and here in Zoom. If you want to save the information on YouTube, it's already there. Uh, I will also post whatever the links are that we meant uh, mentioned or that were kind of uh, alluded to in the description below the video in just a little while. So otherwise, you can watch the chat after maybe about a day or so. YouTube has to take some time to do that. Or... If you're watching on on Zoom, go ahead and click the three dots in the chat and then click on save chat. And at the conclusion of this presentation, you will get all of those links and all of the information that we have shared here today in the Ask Me Anything with the A Amazing Robert Hollis. Got to give a shout out to everyone who participated in today's Ask Me Anything. James Saunders, Lisa Marie Cook, Coach Bob Johnson, George Dudley, Rafael Vargas, Monte Sandlin, and of course, Matt Hollis. Bless you, my friend. Thank you so much for being our executive producer and for being the foundation here. Uh, love each and every one of you. Robert, increíble. You are awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us today on Ask Me Anything. Um, please be good to yourselves. Be cash. Bye-bye. And I'm going to open it up for those people here on Zoom to say so long as we wrap up our AMA. Thank you, Robert. You are thank good. you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Matt. Love you, James. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Bob. Thank you, Kai. Yeah. James, hi, Dennis, you, Arthur. Love the fans. Erlene. Hi, Erlene. Hi. Hi, Diane. Merry Christmas. Hi, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, Jay. Melody, love you. Daniel. Thank you so much, Robert. Love you, Mike. Yeah, thank, thank you. Bob. Thank you so love much, Robert. Hey, Craig. Nice to meet you, Coach Bob. Craig. Take care.